So uh, these two leads, they're going to measure if there's any continuity between them. For example, uh, when we short them, then uh, it will buzz. So if we're in a, a circuit and two parts of the circuit are connected, uh, they're both at the same voltage basically, and they're connected in the circuit, then we'll be able to trace through and hear that they're connected. Any parts that should be connected that don't give a, we know that there's, a, there's an open circuit. So that's basically how we use a continuity tester. So that's what this kit will do. The other interesting thing that this kit will do is it will give different tones for different resistances. So if along the path the resistance changes, you'll be able to audibly hear that change. That's quite useful because if the trace on a PCB board is is flaky, you'll hear the actual resistance change and you, you shouldn't be hearing that. It should be consistency all the way along. It should be the same tone. So when you hear that tone change, you know there's a problem. So let's just put it to one side and just discuss how the circuit works. So there's this is a very interesting circuit. It's based on the 555 timer and uh, that 555 timer is such a versatile chip. Uh, but what's nice about this particular uh, kit is it is it shows one of the one of the most interesting modes of operation for the 555 timer, which is called the A stable mode. And so this actually depends on the A stable mode. So most of this description here is going to be really talking about how the A stable mode of the 555 timer works. The first thing I'm going to do is we'll just assume that these two probes are actually connected together. So now we can ignore the probes and that will make it easier to follow what's going on. So we will ignore the probes and we'll imagine there's a short here. Now this whole circuit really is dependent on this capacitor. If we have the capacitor below one third VCC then this value here on this comparator will be below the plus value on the comparator. All the while this voltage on the minus is below of the input of the comparator is below the voltage on the plus input of the comparator then this value here we have a higher voltage on the plus than on the minus so that's an output high so it means initially the set value is high it means the Q output will be high and we've got a current flowing through the speaker so the speaker is on but as the voltage increases on the capacitor C1 eventually this minus value will reach one third VCC now we know that when the minus value gets bigger than the plus value then that's going to go to an output low so when that goes to an output low we've got a low on the set and a low on the reset well, if we look on our chart there a low on the set and a low on the reset uh, the Q remains the same as it was before so it means that this still will have a current flowing through the speaker and this value will still be a low voltage so nothing's happening here but as the capacitor continues to charge up eventually we're going to reach this value here is going to go above two-thirds VCC now we know that when the plus side the plus input of a comparator is higher than the minus input of the comparator then the comparator will output high so that when when we reach past two-thirds VCC this comparator will go high it's going to activate the reset so now we've got high on the reset and remember we've got a zero on the set so if we look at our chart again we've got a one on the reset and a low on the set that means that the output's going to be low so this output's going to be low in other words there's no more charge flowing through the speaker so the speaker is now off and the inverse of uh, the low is a high so on this side we've got a high now so it means that this transistor now is on so that anything connected to 7 is able to pass through this transistor now so we've got a virtual short here now so anything connected to 7 will go through that transistor and what is connected to 7? Well if we go over here we can see remember this is joined together now 7 here therefore is joined all the way along down here to here so that means the capacitor now sees a short because it's going it sees this path here all the way through 7 all the way through this 
now switched on transistor so we have a short so what's going to happen all the charge is going to leave the capacitor and it's going to discharge very rapidly so once this discharges very rapidly then we're back at an empty capacitor that cycle will keep happening and we'll have the speaker making a buzz sound depending on how quickly this is charging and discharging these resistors will define how quickly this charges and discharges so let's just see how that works I've got a decade box here so that's basically just a bunch of resistors in there that go from zero up to nine megs so we'll connect that to our continuity tester this continuity tester kit just to show the different sounds or the different pitches so all we're doing really is just putting a resistor across those two input terminals those two probes so we'll just connect those and then we'll run through the different resistors and you'll be able to hear the different the different tones well that's initial tone that's the high pitch that that's the tone when we've got our lowest value of resistance so in other words a short but if we're moving along our PCB trace and uh, the resistance changes you know in other words it increases we could get something like uh, this change in the note so let's have a listen to the change you notice there was a change there but uh, it's only about a hundred ohms difference now so if we now increase it by say 919 and see and listen to the, the change in the note yeah, quite a distinct change so if we go up to say 9990 we'll notice another drop in the tone in the frequency so you notice that uh, the capacitors now are taking much longer to charge and discharge and we're getting that much lower tone so we go up again to 9990 or uh, 99,990 rather or nearly 10k so that's nearly 10k now and like it's a very low buzz so let's just skip and go right to 9 megs and you'll you'll be able to hear it actually so slow you'll be able to count them so hopefully you can hear that that's about one click so basically that's the speaker cone expanding once every second so that's how, that's how long the, the capacitor now is taking to charge up we've got such a large resistance now that the capacitor is taking exactly one second before it, it charges and discharges to make that speaker cone uh, vibrate you see it's only it's only moving once every second so what this means is we can actually measure a continuity difference in the, uh, the resistance of up to nine megs not that you ever want to do that too often but you can uh, so let's go back So that's how the continuity tester kit works. Notice here that we're only using a two rechargeable batteries. So they actually last quite a long time because this circuit does, you know, it's uh, doesn't draw a lot of current, and uh, it will run off three volts and because they're rechargeable of course it makes it even cheaper because you can, you can reach you know modern these modern rechargeables can recharge many many times so uh, it's a it's a very low power device and very very useful and very very simple the way it works